Hey guys, how's it going? Trez here once again. Here's the benchmark and review video I promised you guys on the Alienware M14X R5. So some of the features of the laptop that I got were the i7-4700MQ 2.4GHz CPU, which can be turboed to 3.4GHz if required, 16GB of DDR3 RAM, 750GB 7200RPM 2.5 inch hard drive, uh, GTX 765M 2GB of DDR5 graphics card, the Killer E2200 wireless network card, a DVD and CD drive, which of course, you know, you always need, of course in Australia because we've got no fast download speed to the NBN comes, and a 14 inch screen. So that's pretty much the features of it on the likes and dislikes. So we'll start off with some dislikes. Firstly, I've always disliked Windows 8, no matter how much more efficient it is, Windows 8 is a piece of crap and should never have existed and for some reason they put it on here which means you've got to upgrade it to Windows 8.1 and then download something like Start Menu 8 things like that just so that um, you don't have to put up with the standard Windows 8. The small screen that is of course just because it is the M14 model which is of course the cheapest version. The weight of it is also 5.2 kilos which is extremely heavy for a standard laptop just because it has so much cooling in it. Also another thing this is something I've always hated. If you're going to call it a gaming laptop, do not ship it out with a fucking trackpad. Trackpads do not make it a gaming laptop. Ship it out with a damn mouse because you cannot play shooters or any game with a trackpad. The GTX 765M graphics card also only boasts a benchmark of 2112, which is extremely low even for a graphics, even for um, a laptop graphic card. I really wish they would have actually stuck an AMD graphics card in it, something like the 7970M, which boasts around a 3,200 benchmark score. So this graphics card, you know, all that RAM is going to waste just because it has this little graphics card. Even though it has DDR5 RAM, which is, as we all know, is a lot faster than DDR3, it is still very disappointing. And also, since it is Alienware, they sold it in the graphics card, so there is no chance of actually swapping it out with an AMD or any other graphics card, which is very unfortunate. Okay, now we've got the negatives out of the way. It's onto the likes. I really liked how they ship it automatically with a one-year warranty, even though I did buy it second-hand. It's only about a month old, so I still get that 11-month warranty. It can be transferred across to me. I really enjoy the blue LED backlit keyboard and all the lighting around the exterior of the screen. It's extremely good and helpful for playing at night without having to have a lamp or something on or your bedroom light, anything like that. The keyboard is extremely responsive and very nice large keys, easy to read and very simple to use. It's a good layout and very effective. I do like the entire layout of the Alienware overall, like the little Alienware sticker on the back, the lighting across the back plate, everything like that. The aluminium iron dies, um, backing of it. Everything about it is very nice and extremely quiet fans actually which is extremely helpful. I like how my model also had uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM so it is very effective especially when paired with the i7 processor. I can use this for rendering out videos in case my computer dies. So it's a very nice backup and um, extremely helpful for portable media uses and things like that. And it also boasts about a 20 second boot up time and that's just from um, a HDDD, like if I put in an SSD, it would probably boast between 12 to 14 seconds. So that's extremely fast for a laptop and I'm extremely pleased with that. Overall, I'm extremely happy with this laptop. Although it does boast a retail price of 1,999 Australian dollars, you cannot actually get this model anymore. They have changed the models around a little bit. So you will not be able to get this one, but you'll be able to get another one which you can chop and change to however you like. But still, that's extremely expensive, especially for a laptop, whereas you could always buy a home PC and put it together yourself for much cheaper. But for a portability option, and because I got it really cheap secondhand, I'm extremely happy with it. It's an extremely good, reliable laptop. I have no problem with it. Battery life is around 70 minutes while um, constantly gaming, which is quite low for a laptop. But with the, um, the amount of cooling and things in it, I find that quite reasonable. So overall, I am really happy with this laptop. I would definitely recommend it if you guys are after a laptop. Definitely this one, or there is also a company called Metabox who will create a laptop for you. And um, they also boast some pretty good prices. The good thing about the game Thief is it has its own benchmarking program, which I'll use right here to show you guys some benchmarks of the game. And then after that, I'll show you the settings I used on certain games and then the frame rates that I've got
this opening at the base, some sort of steam vent or exhaust shaft. It would be suicide to break in through there. That should buy me back the element of surprise. And what's this? The Baron's great safe. Rumored to be the size of a house and filled with gold. Stand by. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Trays and I'm out. See you guys. Hope this helped.